So picture this, the year is 2015 and the iPhone 6s just comes out, you ran to the Apple store, you finally got that 6s plus in that beautiful space gray color that you always wanted and the phone is finally here. This is the same feeling that you guys probably experienced almost 9 years ago. It's crazy to believe that this phone right here is about to almost be 10 years old, which just absolutely blows my mind because 10 years just went by so fast just like that. I feel like this phone came out maybe 3, 4, 5 years ago, but 9 years is crazy. You know, in September of this year, in 2024, is officially going to mark the 9th year anniversary of the iPhone 6s and the 6s Plus. Of course, we have the 6s Plus right over here, um, but... This phone just feels so new even in 2024. It is so fast, so snappy, and even just taking a look at this box here, it looks quite modern. Like It does not look like an old iPhone at all, and it just really blows my mind that this thing's about to turn 10 years old. Now, one thing that really makes this phone special is that it was technically the last ever iPhone to come with a headphone jack, of course, with the exception of the iPhone SE first generation, which came out a few months later, but this is technically Apple's last ever flagship smartphone to come with both a lightning connector as well as a headphone jack, which is just crazy to believe. And uh, for those who don't remember, you know, this thing was just super thin. It had this crazy fast uh, touch ID sensor, so some people couldn't even read their notifications. Like, that's how fast it used to be. And in general, I just really miss that physical home button. You know, this was the last ever smartphone to come with that physical home button as well. And this iPhone 6s, despite having all these old features, still feels like such a new device today. I even popped in an ultra mobile SIM card into this device. We're on T-Mobile right now. And, um, you know, everything still works. Unfortunately, the 3G network has been shut down here in the United States, but... The 2G network still works, but it's going to work up until, I believe, April, so it's going away very, very soon. Of course, we have Pokemon Go as well, and if you guys want to see me testing out some of these apps, I actually made a video of me using this device a few months ago. I'll have it linked at the top right if you guys want to check it out. But overall, guys, it just honestly blows my mind. Like, I cannot believe nine years went by just like that. I was in high school when this thing came out. I'm in now graduated from college, and it just, like, time just flies. It's crazy to think about let me know in the comment section below if this was indeed your first ever smartphone. It's just the perfect device to hold. I mean, it is a little big, putting it next to my iPhone 14 Pro that I have right over here. Uh, let me just take it out of its case. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is the regular Pro model, not the Max. And the Pro model has a larger display than the 6S Plus here, but the 6S Plus has a much larger footprint in terms of the design. So you guys can see here just how much more thinner it was. Um, obviously, you know, this came at the cost of worse battery life, but I will say for the time being in 2015, whatever this phone offered at the time was exactly what we needed and it was just a perfect device in so many ways. I miss this iPhone a lot in nine years. It's crazy to think about. Let me know in the comments section below if you guys also own this device. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch you guys on the next one.